Hey guys, how's it going? It's Target here. Welcome back to another episode of the Tampa Bay Lightning Be a GM. We're here into the playoffs. We're going to be playing the Buffalo Sabres in the first round. Uh, first things first, though, we're going to go view the lines and see how we stack up against the Buffalo Sabres. I don't see us having any problems here against them, but you never know. You can't count your chickens. Uh, Tyler Ennis, Matt Molson, and Drew Stafford, we got them beat. Felino, Hodgson, and Froelich, we got them beat. The third line is pretty even. They may even have an edge on us. And the fourth line, again, pretty even. So <clears throat> we're going to leave that. Steve Ott, wow, he's only 75 overall now. Uh, defense, they've got Tyler Myers and Munson. We've got it beat there and beat on the second line. And the third line is probably even, maybe a little bit more in their favor. Goaltending, uh, Enroth is at 83. Ryan Miller is only an 80 now. So we've got the goaltending locked down as well. So that is good to see. So let's get here into game one against the Buffalo Sabres. First round of these playoffs. Hopefully this is our year. First period. 2-1 we're down. Okay, Rudwell and Muzzin both score. Uh, Stoll gets one for us. Second period. Oh my god. Jared Stoll, Nikita Kucherov, and Justin Schultz all score in the second period. We're at 4-2. Out shooting them as well here. So this is good to see. Oh, here's a power play. Oh, and they score Nikita Kucherov with his second goal of the game. Another power play, they score again! Justin Schultz on the power play, it's been deadly this game. Four minutes left, they got a penalty kill, and they kill it off. 7-3! Nikita Kucherov scores his third goal, the hat trick! Oh my goodness, Nikita Kucherov! I take back what I said in the year, my friend, you were scoring like crazy. What a game for stolen Kucherov, though. Look at the stats. Kucherov with four points, Crosby with four points, Schultz with three points. Even Ju Jonathan Druin had two points. That's what I need from a team, is my top line producing like they were in that one. 7-2 to two, the final. The only amazing thing is Jonathan Quick let in two goals. <laughs> that truly is the amazing thing. What a start to these playoffs. Don't expect it to continue, but what a start. Second game, first period, up 1-0. Evander Kane on the power play. Man, our power play is firing on all cylinders. Second period, they tied it up. Cody Hodgson ties it up for Buffalo. 1-1 going into the third period. We'll see what happens here in the third. This is going to tell the story. Penalty kill. Oh, ah, and then Tyler Ennis buries one past Jonathan Quick. All right, guys, where's the answer? There you go. Kucherov continues his awesome playoff he's having right now. we got eight minutes left here in the third period. Game tied at two. Power play for the Tampa Bay Lightning, and they kill, They uh, they were they were unsuccessful in it. Buffalo killed it off. Power play again. It's kill off. Penalty kill. Power play. K penalty kill. Oh, my goodness. Five minutes left in OT. Looks like this one's going to double overtime. Power play. They score! Nikita Kucherov scores the power play winner for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Unbelievable. Kucherov has five goals in two games. That top line is firing right now. Unbelievable. Did Sidney Crosby get an assist? Yeah, he got an assist. Kucherov with five goals in two games. Sidney Crosby with five assists in two games. We go to game three. This one now in Buffalo. First period. No goals scored at all. We were outshot 12-6. to six. Second period. Up 2-0. There's Jonathan Druin finally scoring his first goal of the playoffs. And Adam Burrish as well getting in on the action. All right. Third period. We're up 2-0. There's a penalty penalty kill. We killed that off. We had a little short power play before that. We weren't able to capitalize on it. Five minutes left in the third. One. And that's it. 2-0. Jonathan Quick earns his first shutout here of the playoffs. And uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning take game three by a score of 2-0. Looking to sweep the series here against the Buffalo Sabres in Buffalo. So, we'll see what happens here. Alright, Game 4. First period of Game 4. No goal scored at all. Again, outshot. This time it was 11-7. Second period. 1-0. Nell Yakupov scores his first of the playoffs. We go to the third period here. The Tampa Bay Lightning looking to sweep the Buffalo Sabres here. Power play. Killed it off by the Buffalo Sabres. 10 minutes left here in the third period. Penalty kill. Killed off by the Tampa Bay Lightning. One. Oh my god. Matt Molson with 58 seconds left in the third. Pushes things to overtime. Tampa Bay Lightning. Power play goal by Evander Kane. And he capitalizes. Two to one the final. Tampa Bay Lightning have officially swept the Buffalo Sabres here. Mark Shifley getting two points in that one. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What? Finally, we got a sweep. You know what, guys? It was the goaltending. Absolutely. That was the number one need for us was our goaltending. We've addressed it. And I feel like the future now is going to be very, very bright for the Tampa Bay Lightning. I don't see anything but championships in the future. It's going to be insane. All right. Hold on. Stop simulation. We're going to be playing the Ottawa Senators here in the second round. So let's take a look. And actually, let's take a look at the 
pardon me, the stats. Jonathan Quick, lowest goals against average, highest save percentage in the entire National Hockey League right now, 961. Uh, we'll look at wins. He is up there again for, obviously, he's going to be tied with a few people. Kucherov up there with seven points. It doesn't even compare to Alexander Barkov, who's got 10 points on the year, or in the playoffs here. Kucherov with five goals through the first round. I seriously doubt that Spezza uh, played as few a games as Kucherov did, or has had such a spectacular start. Crosby with five, five, uh, five assists for himself, so he's doing well here as well. Good to see. Let's go compare the lines here. With the Ottawa Senators, we obviously know they have Jason Spezza, but is Spezza at that point where he's starting to fall off? I oh, know he's still 88 overall with Bobby Ryan and Corey Conacher, who's an 87. The top line still are. So is the second line, though. And the third line, eh, it's pretty even. Fourth line is ours for sure. Supre, a 58 playmaker. What's going on with that? Not that the fourth line really makes a difference. Uh, defense. Cohen and Carlson, you know what, that top top pairing, they've got that beat on that one, but the second one belongs to us, as does the third. So that top pairing is going to be a tough contention. Uh, goaltending, Craig Anderson and Robin Lane are du dueling it out there. Those 286 might be even better ha than having an 89. So interesting. I think I know how Ottawa won their series, and that's by goaltending tandems, and that's by solid defense and good offense on that top line. So we'll see how things go here in the first period of Game 1. 1-0 the score. Jonathan Druin scores short-handed on Craig Anderson. Second period, still 1-0. We go to the third now. 20 minutes left in the game. Penalty killed off there. Power play, nothing. Penalty kill. Oh, they killed it off. Five minutes left. Three, two, one. And that's it. Tampa Bay Lightning take game one. 1-0. One Jonathan Quick stands tall. Sidney Crosby and Justin Schultz get the assist on the goal. We go to game two now. Game two against the Ottawa Senators. Ottawa still does not have a goal. That's probably about to change because I've jinxed it. First period. Yeah, there you go. Wirecock. Wirecock. I don't know how you pronounce that. He scores for the uh, Ottawa Senators. Second period. Three to one. What a what a comeback. Jonathan Drew and Adam Bursch, Sidney Crosby all score in that second period on Craig Anderson. It's 3-1 Tampa right now. Oh, God. Bobby Ryan just struck back. Three to two. This is going to be a lot tougher game than we what we faced in Buffalo there. Especially with the goaltending situation. Oh, God. Bobby Ryan strikes again at the 10-minute mark. Power play for Tampa. They can't score. Power play again. Still cannot score. Penalty kill. They kill it off. We go to OT now. 17. Oh, no. We're caught again. My goodness. He's a defenseman. He scored his second in the game, and they take game two. The series is tied at one now. This is not good. That's not good. But I, you know what? I didn't expect us to, to thrash the uh, every team that we come across. But we should put up a good fight every game. All right. Game three, first period, up 2-1. All right, Reichel and Nystrom both score. Jason Spezza has one for the Sens. We got outshot 14-6. Guys, I need at least 14 shots for me in this period. Second period, oh my god, they tied it up. And wow, did we ever get the 14 shots. We got the 14 shots and then some 17 shots for us in that period. We go to the third now, score tied 2-2 in Ottawa. So this is a bit of a different story. You don't have the fans behind you anymore. Halfway through the third already. Oh, there they go. Sidney Crosby strikes one backhand on Craig Anderson. Seven minutes remaining here in the third period. Time ticking down, and that is it. The Tampa Bay Lightning beat the Ottawa Senators in Game 3. Take a 2-1 series lead, and we go to Game 4 now again in Ottawa. Hopefully take a stranglehold on this series. Nikita Kucherov has been completely in, like inactive here. <coughs> Pardon me. Inactive here in this uh, second round. Um, we were looking at defense in WHL is what it was. And then we got a couple top 10 there. Uh, that forward is a top 10. Five. Ooh, to two top five players there. Um, any other defensemen that would be considered elite? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so let's look at goalies. There's a top five there in Purcell, so we're going to scout him for a month. Let's find out a little bit more information about him. Game three in Ottawa. Or sorry, game four in Ottawa. First period. Up one nothing. There's Kucherov. Finally, a call to arms, my friend. Second period. 2-0, Jonathan Druin builds on the lead. We're going to go to the third period here. Up 2 to nothing. Penalty kill, we killed that one off power play. Oh, nothing doing on that one. Pen power play again, nothing again. Seven minutes left here in the third period. Tampa Bay looking to take a stranglehold. Another power play. Oh my god, Jason Spezza scores shorthanded. Is it enough? No, not enough to knock off the mighty Tampa Bay Lightning. 2-1 to one the final. What a game. That was crazy. All right. Cl nice close games here. Uh, we go to game five now. An opportunity to eliminate the Ottawa Senators now. First period. 
Three nothing. What the hell's going on? Supreme, Bobby Ryan, and Chasen all score. Second period. Oh my God. Four one. Jonathan Druin gets the only goal here for Tampa. We got a third period. Can Tampa come back? Three goals, I believe. Ten minutes left. Power play. They score. Jonathan Druin gets the second of the game. We got a penalty kill. They killed it off. Five minutes left here in the third. Two one. Ah, and five to two will be the final. Oh, I don't want to intervene. No. We'll just send the period. 5 2 the final. Not what you want to see. We outshot them, but uh, you knew that they'd come back fighting. They don't want to be eliminated yet. We're up three games to two. So we're still at that point where we can eliminate the Ottawa Senators. And that's exactly what's going to happen right here, right now, in Ottawa, right in front of their fans. First period. 3 1. That's what I'm talking about. Evander Kane, Jared Stoll, and Eric Nystrom score for us. Eric Carlson had the goal for Ottawa. Second period. 4 to 2. All right. Kyle Turris scores. Evander Kane. Makes the gap again. Two goals. Oh, 4-3. Bobby Ryan right off the hop. 17 minutes left in the third period. Hold them off. Penalty kill. We kill it. Very good. Nine minutes left. Five. Oh, penalty kill again. It's killed off. Oh, there you go. Zach Bogosian on the empty net. And that'll do it. 5-3 the final in round two. Tampa Bay has eliminated the Ottawa Senators. And they're going on to round three of the playoffs. Which were our Achilles heel last year. We got eliminated by the Columbus Blue Jackets for God's sake, who went on to uh, lose the Stanley Cup Finals to the Chicago Blackhawks. So let's see what happens here. We're going to be playing New Jersey. All right, New Jersey Devils. They thrashed us 7-2 before the, en the end of the season there. So let's go take, actually, let's do stats here quick. Uh, save percentage. Jonathan Quick dropped off a bit and including uh, goals against average. So he's not first. He's in third in both of those categories. Uh, Schneider's at sixth and fifth. All right. Points. Uh, Jonathan Quick is up there for wins, sorry, and then points. Kucherov has 13, Crosby has 12, uh, Conacher and Spezza seem to be definitely the focal point of that. Uh, Lokshinov and Tedenby are the scorers for New Jersey, as well as Hosa for the goal scorers. Um, looks like Kucherov and Drew both have six goals, so we're getting some nice balance scoring from that top line. Let's go to coaching options. Let us view the lines here, NHL. We're going to take a look at, uh, who is it again? We're playing, uh, who was it? New Jersey. New Jersey, right. Where are we here? New Jersey Devils. Travis Zajac, Mary, Marion Hosa dropped big time in overall. Good thing we didn't sign him. That guy's making a ton of money for only an 84 overall two-way forward. Uh, we got that top line beat, second line beat. Third line, they've got us beat because they got solid center there. And then fourth line, good God. Josephson on the fourth line, an 85 overall center. Man, that's a little bit of an overkill there. Um, yeah, their fourth line's got us beat because of that. Defense, we got one, two. Beat three is pretty close. All right. Goaltending, yeah, we got them beat. They've got Lindback and Schneider, so we've definitely got the strong goaltending. Here we go, guys. Round three against the New Jersey Devils. First period of game one. Oh, down two, nothing. Marion House, I shouldn't have talked so much smack. He scores. Second period. Oh, my God. Four nothing here. In game one, this is not a good start. They've got our number right now. We've only got 12 shots. Oh my god, I'm just going to sim this. 5 nothing. the final. Adam Close, or Ryan Close scores the final one. The nail in the coffin. What a terrible game for the Tampa Bay Lightning. That is the worst one yet. I did say that they beat us like 7-2 to two in the regular season right at the end. That was a terrible performance by us, and that one was equally bad. First period, down one nothing. The Tampa Bay Lightning still have not scored. Second period, oh my god, still nothing. But the game is close. At least Jonathan Quick. There you go. Jonathan Druin finally scores. Jonathan Quick has kept him in this. They need to reward him with some goals. Penalty kill. Kill it off. Power play. Oh, oh yeah. There you go. Yakupov on the power play. Eight minutes left. Five minutes left. Penalty kill. Come power play for Tampa. There you go. Jonathan Druin on the empty net scores his second goal of the game. Tampa Bay Lightning have a three goal third period. And you know what? The series is tied. Let's hope that that changes the tide of this game. Of this series has been going so far. Has not been good. Uh, we split the games at home there. One and one. So here we go, game three in New Jersey. First period, 1-1 one, one the score. Yakupov's got the goal. Henrik's got one for New Jersey. Second period, 2-2. Two, two. We got Zajac for them and Kane for us. We go to the third period, all knotted up at two. Wow, an interesting series here against New Jersey. Penalty kill, it's killed. Pow, oh, there you go. Kucherov rips one home. 3-2 right now for Tampa Bay. 7-6, Oh, and then Ted and B scores on the power play. We weren't able to kill it off. Two minutes left. There you go, Yakupov, who started the scoring. Finishes it off, and that's it. The Tampa Bay Lightning have beaten the New Jersey Devils in Game 3. 4-3 to three the final in that one. Yakupov, good job, my friend. Number one star in my heart. And we're up two games to one all of a sudden. We go to Game 4, also in New Jersey. First period of Game 4. 
Down one nothing. Merrill scores. Second period. 1-1. One, one. Eric Nystrom scores on that fourth line. Man, he's done a little bit this year. There's no doubt about it. Done a little bit on that fourth line. Yakupov again with the goal. 16 minutes left in the third period. Penalty kill. Kill. Oh, then Larson scores right after the penalty expired. Oh, and then Wolski scores for New Jersey. 10 minutes left here. Can Tampa Bay tie it up? Power play? Nothing. Penalty kill. And that's it. 3-2 the final. Close on the shot clock. Close on the goals. Wow. These teams are back and forth right now. Series tied at two as we come back home here to uh, Tampa Bay. All right, here we go. First period of game five in Tampa. Up 2 nothing. There is Yakupov again, and Sidney Crosby scores. Second period, 4 nothing. Jonathan Druin, Evander Kane both score. Here we go to the third period with a nice lead. Wow, we're getting out shot like crazy. Penalty kill. Ah, and Yoni Pitkinen manages to beat Jonathan Quick. There goes the shutout. Another penalty. They killed that. Five minutes of power play here at the end, and that will do it. 4-1 the final. 47 shots is how many uh, Jonathan Quick faced. He stopped 46. You can't ask for much better from your starting goalie. Let in one goal on that many shots. All right, guys. We have a 3-2 series lead. We're in the exact same situation we were against Ottawa. We're taking on the Na New Jersey Devils at home. First period. Oh, one nothing. Lakshanov scores. Second period. Oh, down 3-0 here. 3-0 here in the third. Oh, Zach Bogosian scores. We're back within two. Power play. Nothing on the power play. Oh, there's Kirby Reichel. He scores. Nine minutes left. It's anybody's game still. Five minutes. One. Ah, they couldn't do it. They could not come back and tie that one up. Man, oh man. That was a, that was a close game again. We're, our team certainly is giving us a fighting chance to get this going. All right, here we go. Game seven. It comes down to this. Guys, this is a big game for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Hopefully some momentum can get generated off this. Here we go. First period. 2 nothing. That's what I'm talking about. Nail Yakubov and Jonathan Druin score. Five shots on goal. I need 15 in the second. Come on, guys. Second period. 3 nothing. Nikita Kucherov scores. Only 12 shots for the Tampa Bay Lightning. We're going to go times four. Another penalty. There, it's killed off again. 17 minutes left here in the third period. We're getting outshot big time. We've only got 15 shots through three periods at this point. 12 minutes. Oh my god, the shot clock. Crazy difference right now. Eight minutes left in the third. Six. Four. Three. Two. One. And that's it. The Tampa Bay Lightning defeat the New Jersey Devils by a score of 3-0 in Game 7 after being outshot 42-20. 42-20. I can't even begin to imagine how tense that was for the Tampa fans. They did not make it easy. Oh, there you go. We're going to be playing the Phoenix Coyotes, who are ranked third in the NHL. Look at that. This is going to be an interesting one here. Let's just go compare the teams here. Let's get into this. I know you guys want to see it. Our first Stanley Cup final ever so far in our little thing here. Unbelievable. Uh, Phoenix, top line, we've got them beat. Second line, we've got them beat. Third line, we've got them beat. Fourth line, we've got them beat. Uh, fourth line's close. I just wanted to say it. Uh, top line, we've got beat. Second line, we've got beat. Third, they've got us beat. Their defense is sound, and their goaltending is good with Mike Smith. And they got Jonathan Bernier to back them up. Guys, this is going to be the series to win them all. This is it. This is our year right now. Phoenix Coyotes, game one, first period. Ah, oh, no goal scored. Outshot 14 to 7. Second period. No goal scored again. We're getting doubled on the shot clock right now. Power play to start the period. Nothing scored there. Penalty kill. Ah, oh, and Dauphin, their leading scorer, manages to bury one. Unbelievable. They're playing some solid defense, the Phoenix Coyotes. Tampa Bay's got to figure out a way to get it past them. And that's that. That's the end of that one. one nothing is the final in that game. After getting 40 shots on goal, uh, the, the Phoenix Coyotes managed to get one past uh, Jonathan Quick. So you can't blame Quick for that one. you got to blame the offense or compliment Mike Smith. All right, game two, first period. Up one nothing. There you Kirby Reichel scores. Second period. Oh, they tied it up. Brown ties things up at one. Oh, there you go. Reichel again with the second goal of the game. Shots are a little bit more even this time, that's for sure, with 10 minutes left here in the third period. Oh my god, Dauphin again. Back-to-back -back games he scores. Three minutes left. Yes, Reichel with the hat trick. Two minutes left here in the third, and that's it. Kirby Reichel, along with Jonathan Quick, win the game for the Tampa Bay Lightning in this one. Absolutely 
unbelievable game for Reichel. Good job, buddy. We're going to go to game three. The series is tied at one. Game three. This one's in Phoenix. First period. No goal scored. We outshot them 12 to 6. Second period. Oh my god. Brandon Gormley scores twice in the third in the second. Third period now. Come on, guys. You can do this. You can do this. Where's Reichel? There's a goal. Adam Ernie scores. We got 15 minutes penalty kill. It was killed off. Good job. Oh my god. McMillan scores. Who's McMillan? Where the hell is he play? Seven minutes left. Four. Three, two, oh, Shifley scores, minute 27 left in the third? Ah, they can't do it. I think that's the first goal I've seen by Shifley in this playoffs. That may be his very first goal. Yakupov and Bogosian get the assist. All right, we're down two games to one here as we head into game three. Or game four, pardon me. Uh, let's scout these guys here. Let's see, is there anybody worth drafting? There's a first... You know what, let's take a look here for three weeks. We're not going to be probably getting the first round, but we, I'd like to have as much information as possible. Game four, again in Phoenix. Can we split the home and homes? First period. Oh my god, down 3 nothing to the Phoenix Coyotes. Second period. 4 nothing. I'm just going to stim. 5-1 to one the final. Jonathan drew in the only goal right now for the Tampa Lightning. We're down three games to one now. For God's sake, guys, come on. This is our year. You've got to win it. There's no doubt about it. We've got to win this game. Okay, first period. We're on the ropes here. 2-1 to one the score. There you go. Burrish and Crosby score. Hansel for Phoenix. Second period. Still 2-1. to one. All right, we got a nice little lead. Go I want times four. Nice little lead going here into the third period. We're out shooting them big time right now. Uh-oh, oh, they're getting lots of shots now. Come on. Power play. Nothing. Penalty kill. Oh, he scored shorthanded. Sidney Crosby. Good job, buddy. All right. Power play, build on the momentum. Come on. Oh, my God. They got to get that power play going in this series. Penalty kill. Killed it off. Four minutes left. Two. One. And that's it. There you go. The Tampa Bay Lightning have defeated the Phoenix Coyotes. And uh, the series now 3-2. All right. Sidney Crosby helped the team stave off elimination. We're going to game five in Phoenix. Here we go. All right, here we go. Do a die situation here. We got to do this. Come on, Tampa. First period, 1-1. One, one. Drew and Korpakowski score. All right, we scored first in that. That's good. Second period. Yes! Evander Kane and Kanita, uh, K uh, Nikita Kucherov both score in that third. In the second period, we're up 3-1 to one right now. Going in the third period. Power play. Oh, they get killed off by the Phoenix Coyotes. We got 12 minutes left in the third period now. 10. 8. 7. Penalty kill. Oh, my God. Get out of here. Thank God they killed it off. Good job, Tampa. Two minutes left. One. Yes. Tampa beats Phoenix in game six. On to game seven. That's what I'm talking about right there. Don't let them get you down, boys. You got to win this. All right. We got game seven. That's over. But the hard part is just about to begin. A game seven at home in Tampa Bay for Tampa's second cup. Can we do it? All right. For the Stanley Cup. The Lord Stanley's Cup. First period. No goals scored at all for either team. 0-0 going into the second period. We outshot them 14-11. Second period. Yes! Crosby scores a goal. And then Reichel scores later. 2-0 the score. Oh my goodness. The Tampa Bay Lightning currently have a two-goal lead going into the third period. Things are looking good. 3-0! Sid the Kid! Yes! With a wrist shot. Goal. Tampa now with a three-goal lead. Oh god. There's Dauphin to ruin the party. Thanks a lot, Dauphin. Dauphin. Get out of here with your power play goals. Oh, God. Penalty kill. Killed that off. Good job, penalty killing of Tampa Bay. Yes! Yakupov with the 4 1 goal. Five minutes left. We'll jump in here at about a minute. We'll jump in at about a minute. We got to watch it. Okay, there. Whoa, 10 seconds left. Wow, that came really close. We're going to go watch the, the oh, whatever we're called, the Tampa Bay Lightning lift the Stanley Cup. Look at our lines. How can you, def how can you play against that? That's crazy. Line changes, manual. I don't know what I'm going to do for 10 seconds, but we got to see them with the cup. And I have to choose a team because if I don't, it goes really quick and you don't get to see the whole ceremony. There's no fun to that. Wow, guys, we finally did it. After all these years, we finally won the Stanley Cup. Unbelievable. And I get to actually see this team for like the first time. And look who's out there. Sidney Crosby takes a face off. We got Kane. Oh, what's Kane doing out there? 
Here's Kane. A little shot for Kane. Rebound. Oh, Crosby scores. I actually get one with like 10 seconds left. There you go. Let's do it again. Byron Hutchinson scores. Or got an assist on that. Let's win this face off again. Up to Druin. Druin. Shot by Druin. Oh, and Bernie makes a save. That's it. 5 1 the final in game seven. Tampa Bay Lightning have officially won the Stanley Cup. And you know what? If you think back to this moment, guys, and the changes that we made as a club, um, there have been some significant ones in general. And I don't, but I don't think at any point there's been a more significant acquisition than that of Jonathan Quick. The man right there. The man, the legend, Jonathan Quick. I mean, he brought us to the promised land. Year after year, Sidney Crosby, Jonathan Druin, Nikita Kucherov, now Yakupov, uh, if you count Valtteri Filpula, you got Shifley as well. These guys all basically led the team, you know, in offensive production. We even had good defense. I mean, you got Zach Bogosian, Victor Hedman, um, if you count the trade, Byron Hutchinson, uh, Dougie Hamilton, of course. How could I forget these guys? But those are the guys that were there, and those are not any kind of a any kind of like crap players. Those are those are solid NHL stars. But it took a goalie in Jonathan Quick, uh, an elite goaltender, to actually bring us to the promised land. And you know what? The fact of the matter is, the Tampa Bay faithful were tired of waiting. I was tired of waiting, and I think you guys were tired of waiting for that moment. For that moment when John uh, John Gibson would bring us to the promised land. And the fact of the matter was, he wasn't doing it. There's no doubt about it. He was not doing it. We have Jonathan Quick now. And whether Jonathan Quick sticks around long term or short term, it doesn't matter. It shows you how important goaltending is in this game. Having that elite level goaltender is so crucial to winning games. I mean, there's a number of games that I know Jonathan Quick pulled out of his ass for us. Jonathan Quick did that. Nobody else. And then, you know what? There were a bunch of games where all Jonathan Quick had to do was stop the easy shots and let the offense do their work. But the fact of the matter is, if you have an 83 overall goalie trying to keep your team in it in a tough situation against a team with awesome goal scorers, it's not going to happen. I mean, Jonathan Quick even got lit up by the Phoenix Coyotes, who have zero offensive threat at all. I mean, their highest rated player is, what, 84, 85 overall? Are you kidding me? And we had trouble with them. But it, it came down to the elite goaltending. They had Mike Smith, and they kept winning games because they had... Mike Smith. But that's it. They couldn't stop us. 5-1 was the final in this one. Uh, the three stars of the game go to Sidney Crosby, had the hat trick. Jonathan Quick uh, posted a 9-6-2, and Byron Hutchinson had two assists in that game. Good for Byron. Uh, oop, didn't mean to hit that. We're just going to back out here really quick. We'll get to the menu. We'll do a little wrap-up. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me. You know, I debated when I read the comments about making the trade for the goalie. I debated what, whether I should do it at the deadline or if I should do it now. I think we made the right decision in doing it earlier than later. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm looking forward to the off season and seeing what it has in store for us. So until next time, I'm Target Audience. You guys have a good one.